on an iceberg. This is the last day I'll ever be in my 20s. Tomorrow I'm 30 and I've chosen to go diving in Iceland. Why not? The morning of my birthday, we were on the road by 10 in the morning. Yep, that's 10 in the morning and the sun still is not up. We were here to dive in the cleanest water in the world, a place called Silfra. It's a rift formed between the tectonic plates of North America and Eurasia. The only problem is, it's always two degrees Celsius. Good day. <laughs> so you've got warm loop somewhere? Yep. Beautiful. Well, I got lube somewhere. Good news and bad news. The good news, I put warm water in this. Yeah. Bad, bad news, news? Yesterday. Two days ago, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they're better, but... Are you nervous about the cold? I'm only nervous because my fingers are already cold, but I think it's fine. The sun rises at 11 a.m. in the middle of winter in Iceland, so this was about 12.30, just after noon. Pretty dark. It didn't look very impressive from the outside, but just wait until you stick your head under. I have no shame in admitting that my vocabulary is not large enough to adequately describe this place. In this first section of the dive, you can actually touch the continents of North America and Eurasia at once. After the main section of Silfra, you head over into the shallows to a place called David's Crack, and there is a massive cave here. That's certainly one way to feel alive. Freezing, but very well worth it. Biggie made for a, a beautiful tour. Cold is a state of mind. <laughs> cold is a state of mind, oh, it actually please. is. Yeah. It actually is, you think cold, you are cold. How long have you been running these tours? 2012. 2012 was the first Free Dive Iceland tour. Yeah. Does the sun ever go down in the summer so you can do it at like midnight? This could be 4 a.m. in the morning. Wow. Big summer. That's cool. Yeah, it's nice. Not a bad job. Nah, it's a nice office. Highly technical change rooms here. I can't wait to get some clothes on. Over there is where we dived, and it was an incredible, incredible experience. The water was just so clear. It looked like nothing else I've ever seen underwater. Obviously, cold hands and cold feet, because I wore five mil socks and gloves, just to have a bit of dexterity on the camera, but awesome, awesome birthday dive. I don't think I've dived on my birthday in about 10 years, so pretty special. And now we've got more of Iceland to explore, so stick around if you want to see that. This is the first time I'd actually seen the sun in Iceland. The plan for the day was to make our way from the lava fields all the way to the black beach near Vik. And that involved passing yet another Icelandic waterfall. This country has a plethora of them. The day after my birthday and we have sunshine and this really, really weird landscape. I don't know if you can really see it here, but it's like this green moss with all lumps and stuff on it. It's super strange, but best way to show that 
clearly with a drone. We continued on to the most beautiful beach I have ever seen in my life. Where are we? Black Beach is one of those places you must visit here for good reasons. And with views like this, this is what you're looking at. How cool is that? Everything is gnarly. The landscape, the weather, temperature of the water. I love it. Over 10% of Iceland is covered by glaciers. It would have been rude not to get up close and personal with one. Glaciers are formed by the compacting of snow on the top of a mountain which the pressure turns it into ice. This then flows down the mountain over many, many years. The result is these absolutely stunning formations. And at the bottom of glaciers you find icebergs. So tomorrow, I think I might uh, try and slide down one. There was one goal left for the trip, get on top of an iceberg. The Diamond Beach gets its name from the icebergs that wash up on its shores. These flow out from the glacial lagoon at the base of the Jogulsarlon Glacier, a good spot to look for icebergs. After seeing that glacier yesterday, decided to find a lagoon with a few icebergs in it. This looks like a pretty good spot to go for a swim. That lube is definitely not warm. People said I'd never have a good use for a 10 mil wetsuit. In my overexcitement, I left one of the gloves in the car. So Hannah's gone to go get that for me. Thank you very much. Thanks. Definitely the coldest water I've ever dived. Right, bad beat iceberg. This is seriously, seriously cool. Literally, seriously cool. When they say all oh, the ice is under the water, you can really see it here, just.
literally on an iceberg. <laughs> that is just seriously cool. So damn cool. Probably shouldn't get too close, but... You only 30 once, hey? Iceberg, dead ahead! My number one camera assistant. Well, I'm a bit hot actually. Oh my gosh, you're joking. <laughs> Just kicking around trying to stay stable. A little bit warm on the chest. Champagne, spa, happy 30th to me. Oh! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh. You want to get straight in. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Bugger, it's cold. Quick, quick, it's gone out quick. Oh, it's gone out! 